I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry if y'all were expecting the him. Y'all got me today. He's next, though. He's coming up next. We'll start with Brooks. All right. And Austin, uh, talking with Ed, he was talking about how y'all gave each other your space to uh, kind of make your decisions on your own. He said he was waiting for you for a long time. Uh, <laughs> so maybe you can tell us a little bit about um, what went through your mind and your decision process to come back to us. Well, uh, yeah. Like you said, we gave each other space. He was in Dallas making his decision. I was on vacation with my girlfriend in Destin, Florida, just <laughs> taking time to relax and, like you said, make my decision. And at the end of the day, just being able to come back and bounce back from last season, have a championship effort, and then just come back and get another championship for this program is the main reason why I came back. Yeah, I guess when, you know, that many offensive linemen come back, that many veterans overall come back, there's probably right. a mission, right, or something you guys are working for. I guess what are the conversations like about why you came back and what you're going for? Uh, the Our main goal as a, a overall unit is Coach Craig Harbs, and we just keep on, like, like I think it was two days ago, they brought – they they actually took the uh, Joe Moore Award away from us to – who. To the other players that won it, we're not going to say any names. But uh, that's our main goal and trying to achieve that goal and just bring it back to where it belongs. So and I did I did make that evident and I made that clear in my uh, coming back post because I, I truly do feel like we have the chance to do that. I'm sorry, Austin, you said they, they took it away. Where is it? Uh, the Joe Moore Award, they uh, – it rotates because it's the only trophy in college football that actually there's only one copy of, or there's just one. There's no copies, there's no replicas, there's no nothing. It's an 800 pound trophy that they just gotta get a whole U-Haul truck and take it from all over the country because right before us, it was at Oklahoma. So they had to take it all the way from Oklahoma in a U-Haul truck in the back of it and then haul it all the way over here put on like two by fours to roll it in. So it's a long, long process. I got you. It wasn't going to stay in football laps no matter what. Right. Yeah. No, nah, that just, yeah. It just relocates. I just wanted to ask you, um, how excited are you that everyone's back? And between now and say September, how much better do you think you guys can be collectively as a group? I think I'm, I'm extremely excited on overall, like what we'll be able to do as a team. And just like you said, having a veteran group back, on both sides of the ball is going to be able to how Coach O states iron sharp as iron, us going against the D line and possibly making each other like the best unit in the country. So, all right, Chuck. I have two questions. The first one is: uh, right. Is it hard? Is it harder for an offensive lineman? decide to come back and any other position because of the, the physical beating you take every game all year and, and, and you really need some space to think about if you want to I guess do that again here and secondly um, the new offensive concepts uh, how do you like them? So those are my two questions. Okay uh, we'll go off of the second question we'll do this I'll do the second question first I personally love the the new concept of the offense it's giving playmakers like plays to make plays, so it'll be able to like give them time and fl just like you see in 2019, we have playmakers in space making plays and just letting everyone have fun with it, just like you would play football in the backyard. And then, like you said, coming back as an offensive lineman with the risk of injury, that with me and then our offensive line, we try to make ourselves durable to where we and just a tougher mindset to where, regardless of. <laughs> If we roll our ankle or something, just tape it up. So that really wasn't like a – for me personally, that wasn't a uh, a hesitant or like something that would hold me back from coming for another season. Because I tend to think of myself as a pretty durable guy, so. Hey, Austin, this is Dennis Brown from CBS Sports. That, that's interesting about the Joe Moore Award. Right. I, I wasn't aware it was the only award that didn't have a copy. When, when did you find that out? Um, when, the, when we got it, actually. Uh, when they did our whole like presentation and stuff. And when you're right next to it, you're 
you really don't know how big it is until you actually see it. Because it's about eight, like I said, to eight to 900 pounds. They have to roll it in. You can't, you can't move it with a single person. And then they told us, like, right afterwards when, after the ceremony, all, all the uh, things were being said, I'm asking uh, some of the guys, like, that brought it in. They're like, yeah, this is the only trophy in college football that there's only one of. So I thought that was pretty, like, pretty cool, though, that it's just that's the only, the one and only of that trophy. So. Did, did you actually see it go off to Alabama when the time came? Oh, I did not. I did not. Our uh, our coach, our coach sent our group message that it did, and he's like, and he like I said, he's uh, sending the group message. He's like, oh, what are you gonna do to get it back? And then just starting this whole like motivational thing. So. Austin, I mean, you're gonna be entering your fifth year here. Yeah, um, yeah. All the things that you've seen um, from the time you showed up to now, all the new members. How how do you approach a season like this, and how do you see this team and its kind of personalities coming together? What are what with your experience? What are you recognizing and noticing? I'm recognizing an early chemistry and an early like good sense of camaraderie throughout the entire team. You have old guys and you have young guys holding each other accountable, and just being able to have that overall family atmosphere. And like you know, at the end of the day, I'm gonna go for the other per like I'm gonna hold my own and I'm gonna protect my other person's back. But the first thing I would see, like that's really starting to stand out to me, just going within this first week of spring. And you know, it's gonna things are gonna keep going as spring goes on. But the overall camaraderie and the energy is just there. Is you can you can smell it, you can taste it, you can cut it with a knife. Everything is it's amazing. All right, I changed my mic to see if this is any better here. But um, <laughs> all right, yeah, I can, up, thanks. yeah, I can hear you. Uh, good, good seeing you again, Austin. Um, What's up? We, we talked to uh, we we talked to Ed. He talked about the um, Ingram. I was going to say Ed. Yeah. He talked about the communication errors being the issue last year. Right. And one of the key things that you guys could clean up. Mm -hmm. Um, it seems like y'all have the talent, right? Obviously. Y'all came back for a reason. Right. Um, what do you feel is the most important thing, I guess, for the offensive line to fix to reach y'all's potential? Uh, more of our – I feel like sometimes we weren't working as a well-oiled machine as we could. And I make that, like, reference because if you look at the 2018 season before our national championship season, all the people that were starting in that one – all the people that were starting 2018 season were together. The people were saying stuff like, oh, like they need, to, uh, they need to work it out, they need to make adjustments. And they gave us a year, and look what happened. And then you have all these people coming back. You have the entire front five coming back. All I'm saying is the sky's the limit because you see what the proof is in the pudding with that because you can easily see that over the year, it came, we came back, we won the Joe Moore with the exact same guys that were doubted the year before. So. Thanks for your time, Austin. No problem. Y'all have a good one.